but this is the tricep dip. You're going to lift up right here into a tabletop position, making sure that your palms are right underneath your shoulders and your feet are hip width apart. All you're gonna do is simply come down and up, keeping that chin up, you're not sinking into your shoulders. Now, if you wanna make this a little bit harder, I'm gonna ask you to bring your legs out into a reverse plank so that you're like this, hips up. This is more difficult, but if you wanna give it a shot, all you're gonna do is inhale down, exhale lift. Inhale down, exhale lift. And if you wanna make it extra fun, bring it back in right here into a tricep kick and dip. You're gonna bring one leg out like so. Every time you come down, you kick that leg up, down, exhale, lift. And those are your three variations for the tricep dip. Go ahead and try 12 tricep dips and have fun. Bring yourself onto your belly just like so. Now I'm gonna show you one move at a time so that you understand the essence of it before we add everything in together. So I want you to rest your forehead on your hands. Bring the knees out super wide like a diamond, okay? Big toe together. And all you're gonna do is lift up the quads, come back down, exhale, lift, and lower. As you can see, I'm squeezing my butt every time I lift the legs, all right? That's one part. The second part is the half cobra push-up. Slide your hands right underneath your shoulders. Roll the shoulders back, pressing through the heel of your palm. You're going to lift up into a half cobra. Notice how my elbows are still touching my shirt. They're not flaring out like this. They're all the way in. That's how you truly work your triceps. And also, please, do not come all the way up into a full cobra. That's why this is called a half cobra. It's half and down. Now, you ready to combine it all together? Bring those knees out, big toes together. You're gonna give me one push. A push and a lift. It's a push and a lift. As you can see, extremely challenging, but really fun. You get to work the arms and the booty all in one. So, you're gonna wanna try 12 of those. Make sure you pay attention to your form and really squeeze and hold each movement. All right, have fun. So bring your hands forward, palms into the mat, fingers wide. Toes aligned with the hips. You're gonna lift up into a down dog position. Now you're gonna wanna bring your toes in a little bit closer so they feel more comfortable. And lift one of your legs up into a three-legged dog. Now from here, I want you to drop the toes to the outside of the mat, lift up, draw an arch or a rainbow, and drop to the other side, outside the mat. As you can see, major butt work happening right now. You're gonna inhale down and you're gonna exhale up. All right, let's go ahead and bring the toes down, knees down, and slowly lift up with control. If you can try to do 10 to 12 of these per leg, you're gonna be really golden. Good luck, guys. This is called the plie squat. So what you're gonna wanna do is bring your legs out way past your shoulders and your hips, okay? My toes are faced outwards. I'm gonna bring my arms out like so, floaty fingers, shoulders away from the ears. Keeping your core super tight, what I want you to do is slowly come down into a squat position. Now make sure that you're not leaning over like this. You are tall, crown of the head towards the ceiling. And you're gonna simply exhale and come back up. You're gonna go down and up down and up. Now, if you wanna make this a lot harder, what you can do is actually come up onto the balls of your feet, just like so. Arms out or in front of you, doesn't matter, whatever is comfortable, and you're gonna come down. As you can see, we're working the calves, we're working those inner thighs, super crazy, and up, down, and up. And if you wanna make it really hard, you're gonna stay right here and you're just gonna pulse it out and stay super duper low. So if you wanna try this move at home, please try about 15 to 20 of them. You're gonna get some nice, lean, long legs. Good luck.